Hi, this is Karthik. In this session, we will see classification of computers. So, what is a computer? A computer is an electronic device or a machine which works on based on user instruction. And now we will see classification of computers. A computer can be classified based on two factors. First factor is according to size and second factor is according to the work. Now we will see the classification of computer. Here is a type of computer and first we will be having digital computer, a digital computer or the computer which works on digital input and analog computer or the computer which works on the physical quantities let us say temperature, pressure and so on so. So what is hybrid computer? Hybrid computer is the combination of digital computer plus analog computer. That is why it is called as a hybrid combination of digital computer plus analog computer. And further, the digital computer can be classified as microcomputer, mainframe computer, supercomputer, and mini computer and further this microcomputer can be classified into home P and PCs. Now we will see one by one. So the major categories of computer first one is analog here where the input is physical quantity like temperature, pressure so on so. In case of digital computer it uses the digital values or digital signal that's why it is called as digital computer. This digital computer is most often used to raise from hobbies and everything. And next comes your hybrid computer. Hybrid computer is a combination of digital plus analog computer or analog plus digital. That's why the name hybrid. This is a new generation from existing analog and digital hybrid computers. Now we'll see what is analog computer. Here, the input given to analog computer is physical quantity like temperature, pressure, velocity, etc. etc. In simple, the analog computer works with physical quantities, let us say how much, how much temperature, how much pressure, and etc. etc. Let me see what are the applications of analog computer. Analog computer are used in engineering purposes and scientific works and control process and chemical industries too and here you can able to see the diagram of a, a typical or sample diagram of analog computer this computer works on how much quantity let us say when temperature goes beyond 30 degrees celsius or else some chemical industries or else it may be some scientific purpose but anyway the analog computer works on physical quantities right next comes to digital computer first we'll see the digital computer works on digital input now we'll see the types of digital computer first comes microcomputer and second one is a mainframe computer third one is supercomputer fourth one is mini computer and fifth one is handheld computer sixth one is tablet pc and seventh one is personal digital assistant or packet pc and eighth one is smartphones ninth is workstation and ten is network computer now we will see one by one First we will see mainframe computer. Here this diagram you can able to see this are very large computers. In earlier days the mainframe, the term mainframe comes from metal frame. So this computer, mainframe computer are very high speed and with great storage. Here the processing speed of this computer is very high as well as this can able to store large amount of data. 
and as I said the word mainframe comes from metal frame see here all the things are made up of metals that's why it is called as metal frame and later it is changed to mainframe so it is used by used by large companies like banking sectors insurance and online transaction because of the great processing speed and great storage here are some example for mainframe computers next comes your microcomputer see the microcomputer the name itself micro the computers are very small in size and these computers are very cheap and easy to use and just as just like personal computers or laptop and so on and so next coming to supercomputer the name itself super this computer is very very speed and regarding storage the storage is very huge these are the sample diagram for supercomputers the supercomputers are mainly used for research purpose so this supercomputers is designed for scientific purpose and speed of supercomputer is very very high and supercomputers have multiple processor and huge memory here still now we have seen that a computer will have only one processor but in case of supercomputer it's not a single cabinet here you can able to see this is a multiple cabinet or multiple system unit where we can work with multiple processor as well as the supercomputer can able to store huge volume or data as well as the super cost of supercomputer is very very high because this supercomputer can be used only for scientific purpose and handheld computer now computer the size of the computer is very small now we can able to use the computer in handheld here we can able to see the diagram this is called as handheld computers yeah this is very small computing device that can be used by many people and this can hold or by hands and that's why it is called as a handle computer and this handle computer sometimes called as palm top and next comes mini computer so mini computer the size is intermediate between micro computer and mainframe mini computer are small in size it's a general purpose computer what we are using in home office and etc etc this mini computer is very less expensive and very small in size and small in memory less powerful the processing speed of this mini computer is very very low see here you can able to see this one is a mini computer where which will be having small processing power the processor speed is low and uh, size of the memory is very low and next comes your personal digital assistant PDA uh, the features of PDA includes calendar, task list, email, pocket, word processing, spreadsheet, application, presentation, network capabilities including Wi-Fi. Uh, the PDA has decent LCD touch screens with decent size. Here you can able to see nowadays this PDA comes with a lot of options like where we can able to work word presentation powerpoint where we can able to check mails where we can able to connect various types of networks that can be done with the help of personal digital assistant and tablet pc here you can able to see tablet pc so which are more user interactive similar to laptop with extra features like writing recognition and voice Recog uh, voice recognition so this tablet PC is very similar to laptop but which will be having some additional features where we can able to write as well as voice recognition is available in case of tablet PC and notebook notebook is nothing but laptop notebook, notebook computers or portable computers with PC personal computer capability notebook computer is also called as laptop here you can able to see the diagram of laptop where this is very portable we can able to carry 
wherever you go we can carry this laptop and we can able to do our work next comes the personal computer the personal information can be stored in personal computer so this is a general purpose computer the PCs are now very common where it can be used in office, classroom, home appliances, hospitals, shops and clinics so these are normal personal computers wherever we go we can able to see this personal computer this can be used in hospitals classrooms in home etc etc and here comes the network computer the network computer or the computer which is connected to a network where you can able to see there will be a centralized resource where all, all other computers are connected to that resource the centralized resource will be having the control over other resources the computer connected to a network is called network computer in short NC the computer within a network are called as workstation and for example clients so here this PC is each and everything is called as a workstations the system which are connected to a network are called as workstation thank you